Hi guys, welcome back to the channel where we explore the beauty of life and the blessings it brings. If you're new here, my name is Rufine and I'm so glad you hopped on this video because why not? <laughs> Thanks so highly for being with us today and I really hope you stick around to the end of the video and hopefully join the family. To all returning subscribers, my gang gang, and my village people as well, thanks to you guys for always being here to support me. I am immensely grateful. Oh, I'm so emotional. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. A lot of you have been reaching out to me asking about how to get scholarships in China. And some of you are just so curious about how life is out here for international students. So I thought it wise to do a series titled The China Life Series, where I'm gonna be explaining to you how to get good scholarships. And I'm also gonna be explaining how to prepare your documents for application and some of the rules and guidelines you need to know and understand before coming to China to school. Into this video, I'm gonna be breaking down our series I'm going to be explaining to you what to look forward to in the entire series from video one up to the last video. All right. So with that being said, let's spill the tea. Starting off with our first video. It's going to be centered around 10 things you need to know and understand before coming to school in China. Now, these are things that I wish I knew, but trust me, I had to learn all of these things the hard way. It's okay because now I can sit here and share these 10 things with you so that you don't have to go through all of the unnecessary wahala that I went through just because of ignorance. All right. So yeah, this series is so informative. That is why I'm currently asking you to please help share this series so that we have a lot of people hearing about the message that we are about to provide in this particular series. In my Liberian voice, I say, let's share the video. Let the video go virus. Let the video go virus. <laughs> yeah, make sure you're sharing with family and friends, those who are interested in coming to school in China so that they can have an overall idea on how the process works. And trust me, they're gonna thank you so much for sharing this video with them. Video number two will focus on how to find suitable universities in China. There are lots and lots of universities in China but if you don't know how to find the right ones, you're just gonna get any university, right? It's almost like you're going to the market to buy a banana and the very first banana you see, you just buy it. Probably because you don't know there are better bananas or probably you're just in a hurry or what, what, what. But it's always good at least to check around and see the varieties of bananas in the market before you make a decision. So that is why I'm going to be inviting somebody who has more knowledge on this particular topic to help us to find better universities here in China. All right. Don't want to miss that as well. Video three will cover important application requirements. The application requirements varies from school to school in as much as there are general documentations that each of these schools are going to ask for. But again, uh, the specifications of documents depends on the scholarship you are applying for or the program you are applying for. But yes, guys, we will be providing you detailed information on this particular topic. That is why I want you to please, please, please stick around and make sure you are watching each of the videos under this particular series. Video 4 will provide extra tips on preparing a standout resume or CV that catch the attention of Chinese universities or admission counselors. Video 5 will offer guidance on how to write a compelling personal statement or a study plan. I might be the one to talk about this because I have written more than one study plans or I might just invite an expert who has written several study plans to help us. Video 6 will cover the best strategies for obtaining recommendation letters. Video 7 will guide students in choosing the right scholarships to apply for. If not all, most of the schools have more than one scholarship opportunities, all right? So that is why we're going to bring the expert on board who is going to guide us through the right path to make sure we are making the most of the best scholarship opportunities. Video eight, we will dive into the application process itself and our expert will be giving us the step-by-step -step procedures on how to go through 
with our application. The reason why we will be sharing this step-by-step -step process is because we want you to try it for yourself. And wherever you feel stuck, you can either reach out to the experts that will be coming on the platform because I'm gonna leave their contacts in the description. But please try it out for yourself first. Wherever you feel stuck, you reach out to them. I'm very sure they are going to help. You still want them to help you with the overall process, they can still help you, but know that it's not free because that's the Asa hustle, right? The service is not going to be free. You're going to pay not that much amount of money, but it's not free. So just that one is on, is on period, please. Also, do not come and ask me about the application process because myself, I am not knowledgeable on that. I do not know everything. Please, please, please. That's why we're going to also provide the links of these schools you can go ahead and read on these schools and try to go through the application process. Wherever you feel stuck, you can always come back to the video and rewatch and be able to go through the step-by-step -step process. Video 9 will cover travel guidance. So I'm going to be providing you guys some really important information on some of the things to pack up when you're coming to China to school or for business. Also based on the different weathers we have going on here in China. I'm also going to be providing you helpful information, okay, on how to travel from the airport to your school. A lot of us have had issues with traveling from the airport to our school. So that just in case you don't have anybody to pick you up, it cannot be a big deal. It's absolutely so easy, but because you don't know, so it's going to be like a big deal, right? Ignorance is a big deal. Trust me, it's a big deal. Video 10 will be interviews of other students studying in China. So they'll be sharing their experiences with us and we're going to bring up both old and that of new students so that we hear the experiences from different perspectives. And the reason why we're doing this is uh, because if you are making your decision to come to school in China, we want to make sure you're making informed decisions, all right? Finally, the series will conclude with my personal experiences studying and living in China as a foreign student, specifically Liberian. I've had some weird experiences, I've had some amazing experiences, and I'm going to be sharing each of those experiences with you guys in the upcoming videos. So you want to really stick around and watch each of these videos under this particular series. These are a few topics to look forward to in our upcoming series. And for those of you who are interested in coming to China to school, if you have specific questions you would like me to address, kindly send them to me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is Rufine underscore Harmon. And please, you are sending me all of those questions. Make sure you're following up my Instagram more. If you follow my Instagram, you won't even die, okay? So please follow up my Instagram. <laughs> all right all right all right and also please don't forget to like this video share with friends and family as well as leave your comments below you know i love communicating with you i love it when you leave your comments below i love reading them and i also love replying to your comments so kindly share your thoughts in the comment section all right as well as subscribe to our youtube channel and also please follow up the facebook page because i'm also going to post this video on facebook so make sure you are following up the facebook page and that way, once I upload the series, you can as well follow along with each of the videos. All right. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Until next time, stay blessed and keep spreading love.